Currently, our SmackDown brand is still in first place as we're on the quest for our Hall of Fame induction. We have currently four out of our 10 needed Hall of Fame trophies. Xavier Woods has had a great job and we're closing in also on a few other tiers as well. So we very well may be over halfway by the end of season three. We're on the road to hell in a cell. We've currently been really big in pay-per-views. We'll see if Xavier Rhodes can book another classic pay-per-view at this year's Hell in a Cell. And the roster overall is performing very, very well. We have a number of superstars that are really jumping up in their popularity. One of the big ones we're keeping an eye on right now is, of course, Triton. Triton, who hasn't won a match yet, he's 0-3, has now jumped up to four star power. He's now just really killing it with 71 popularity. He's a name to certainly keep an eye on this pay-per-view season. So we're here for the first show on the build to Hell in a Cell. We have four titles on the line. This is a huge, huge show. So we're starting off Universal Champ on the line. It's Montez Ford retaining against King Triton, a four and a half star classic. He retains GG Dolan calling out Trish Stratus, now level four feud. Now we have the tag titles on the line. Your champs against Mad Cat Moss and Edge and the champs retain. It's a four star match. It doesn't grow a feud, unfortunately. Cody with a call out there for KO level four feud between those two. And we have the women's tag titles on the line. And we have new champions, Nikita Lyons and of course, Roxanne Perez. Three and a half star match, your new tag team champs for the women's division. Axiom calling out your IC champ, Jey Uso. It's a level one feud. And your main event is Asuka taking on Ronda. Rousey for the title and Rousey is taken care of by Asuka. Four star match. It's a really good show. So as we look at the drama curve, we had a really consistent show there. Nothing below a three and a half star rating overall. Triton now up to 77 popularity. Again, he's a superstar just developing, developing, developing is exactly what we want to see. Um, so some good stuff developing now here. We had 35,000 fans gained, almost $200,000 in profit as well. That's a big week for us, 35,000 fans. NXT with 28 thousand raw with 19,000 and lastly WCW our really biggest competition 39,000 they had a huge week overall and we still though of course have more fans so we keep the edge right now we've just creeped over 5 million fans ladies and gentlemen that is huge for us Gigi Dolan saying she's putting in a lot of work she thinks she's earned a shot at the Smackdown Women's Championship how about it you know what we're actually gonna give her an opportunity here in the next few weeks and we have a commissioner goal here from trips we see here have at least one steel cage match on this week's show and we'll get a to the moon card which will again bump up somebody's popularity by 15 if they are less than 60 currently so that's an absolutely a must in my opinion we need we need to make sure this happens so we booked out our second week of shows here we have two titles on the line we're starting off with the steel cage match fatal four-way completing two goals we're giving Gigi Dolan an opportunity like she wanted we're also getting the steel cage match and Dolan with the dub what Dolan she gets the opportunity and she capitalizes now level four feud between Ra Rousey and Asuka she's our new champ Triton out here calling out Montez Ford we get a backstage brawl between Queen Zelina and Tamina and Tamina goes down at the hands of Zelina and it begins a feud we get Mad Cat Moss calling out Otis and now we have the tag titles on the line and your champs retain yet again now beginning a feud between Edge and Mysterio and themselves I see title feud growing to level two in your main event not super exciting but it's KO versus Rhodes versus Otis and Rhodes with the win it's a three-star main event so looking at the drama curve we had again a very solid show outside of this two-star stinker that was Zelina taking down Tamina not what I wanted to see there at all, but some interesting stuff that played out there, growing a few feuds to level four as well. New champion now as well. I mean, there's just so much goodness happening here. Let's see how many fans we gain. 29,000, $66,000 profit. Uh, NXT beats us with 30,000 fans gain. Raw with 11K. The Raw just cannot get it right. I feel so bad for Kurt Angle. They just can't get it going. And WCW wins it with 39,000 fans. We get a new GM trophy. That is it, baby. Season legend complete five challenges this season. That's massive. We get the to the moon card as well. 
and we get a veto champ card to be able to block an opposing team's uh, opposing brand's champion in the next week so we, we're still on top we have five hall of fame trophies now ladies and gentlemen so nobody else is in the same ball game so you see we have five hall of fame trophies now we may be able to get seven by the end of the season right now right see right here tier three revenue is on the cusp we need to get 20 million dollars in lifetime revenue we may get that this year we are also right there we need to hit 5.5 million total fans and we'll get fan tier two that will give us another trophy and then as you look down here if we finish in third in first place at the end of this season that'll give us another trophy there so we are we are doing a really really good job we could potentially finish anywhere from seven to eight trophies by the end of season three if we keep on this route and this trajectory currently for the next show we have a opening match here it is a tag team match no titles online for this one right here but your champs retain that they win they're no matter no, again no titles online it does propel the feud to level two it's a four-star match as well which is big mad cop moss calling out otis level two feud for the rivalry tamina and queen zelina this match didn't perform well to begin with so i'm going to end this rivalry here because i got that note from triple h saying basically they don't match up well together so the rivalry is complete between those two we can move them on to different pastures hopefully that will work out well dana brooke calling out uh, who's that jc jane there we have the smackdown or we have the women's tag team titles on the line here your champs retain as they begin a feud with Aaliyah and ronda rousey for the tag titles and we have flint mcstones he's been doing a little bit of nothing lately as we we're trying to sit on his feud with him and ray so that's a little boost for him in our main event for tag for a tables match icy title on the line axiom defeats jay uso and is your new champ level three feud as well wow so looking at the drama curve and there it is yet again we had that stinker right here that two-star match but overall a solid show um looking at some of the other cards here nxt had a, a decent main a really good main event actually if you have bianca belair versus ray ripley it's gonna be killer every time raw had a solid show here so it's nice to see for for kurt they even have Dr dewey carter out here trying to do some things for the wwe championship against your champ drew gulak what uh then you got wcw solid stuff overall for them as well but as it seems right there ronda and Aliyah work well as a tag team that's great knowledge we know now we gained thirty-three thousand fans as well nxt ten thousand behind us twenty-three thousand fans overall from them raw with 21 000 and wcw with thirty thousand. so we win the week overall that's big for us we keep that going as we now get ready for the go home show in detroit michigan for hell in a cell and as we're getting ready for the the, the go home show we're going to use our to the moon card and i'm looking around trying to figure out who i want to give this big boost to and it's got to be it's got to be flint mcstones i mean he's just been a guy that you know I, I told you i wanted to keep on this roster for a reason we're gonna give him that boost and we're also going to use the veto champ card against wcw blocking one of their champions for next week's show which is hell in a cell and ladies and gentlemen we're going to bring in an enhancement talent for the women's division sally Ste steamroller uh welcome to smackdown so it's time for the go home show before hell in a cell we have a rivalry tag team action to kick off the show as the champs continue to win it's a three and a half star match doesn't do anything for the feud dana brooke calling out queen zelina beginning a level one feud between the two mad cat moss and otis in a tables match this is a rivalry moss defeats otis level three feud level three match as well jay uso call out there of axiom level four rivalry there for the icy title and in her debut it's sally steamroller against tamina and nobody mina takes down the steamroller it's a level one feud two and a half star match not what you want to see jc jane with a promo that does nothing for her popularity and your main event for the tag team championships for the women's division and ronda and Aaliyah are your new champions four-star match for the main event so there you have the drama curve y'all again solid show from us through and through decent stuff from other brands as well here alexa bliss versus raquel rodriguez that sounds like a lot of fun to be honest with you there uh you got you got angelo dawkins and roman reigns duking it out over there on raw and then an Iron Man match with Wesley and Bobby Lashley. That sounds actually pretty dang solid. But as it stands, we gained 31,000 fans. NXT with 13. Good Lord, that's horrific. Uh, Raw, 35,000 from Raw and WCW pulling in with 31,000. So we still, again, have the, the upper hand in fans and in trophies as we now head on to Hell in a Cell here week 15. And we've been hit just now. Limited stock. 
Uh, double the price of the power cards next week. Well, that's not a big deal for me. So we have a, a pretty solid show against all singles matches. So for variety's sake, it's not going to be that great. But pretty much all of these are level four feuds that we're about to blow off here. And here we go, our main event, or start a, our opening match for the women's main event. Pretty much a four and a half star classic completes the feud. Dolan retains the title as your champion here. Cody with a little charity spot. Trying to do something with him right now. Rey Mysterio, Flint McStones conclude their rivalry and... The legendary Rey Mysterio wins in a four and a half star classic, completing the feud. Braun Breaker with a charity spot as well. Ronda Rousey taking on Asuka here to finish off their feud. Asuka with the win in a tables match, four star match, charity spot for Tamina. We have Axiom and Jay Uso duking it out for the IC title in the Hell in a Cell match. And Axiom with the win in a five star legendary match he retains. KO gets a promo charity and your main event for the Universal Championship, your champ Montez Ford taken on challenger Triton and Ford retains, completes the feud between him and Triton and continues to be your champion. So at the end of the night, we had no matches below four stars. It was a heck of a show, but WCW had a phenomenal show as well. They had nothing below four and a half. I mean, they, they moved and they grew from the get. I mean, look at these cards, these matches they put on here. Heck of a show there from WCW, our biggest competition. Axiom is a natural in Hell in a Cell matches. That's new information for us to know. We gained 169,000 fans. We didn't profit at all. We lost $154,000. In the NXT, they bring in 76,000 fans. Raw with 95,000. And our biggest competition, WCW, brings in $159,000 and profiting over 250,000. So at the end of... This one, we're still ahead. We are over 300,000 fans almost ahead of Bischoff and WCW and also one trophy ahead of them as well. And we're in a good spot overall as we head now to Survivor Series. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in a good we're in a good place right now. Now it's time to pick our shakeup card heading into the next show. So this one right here, Extreme Rules are free, but participating superstars lose more stamina. Fan favorite when a superstar, okay, they, whenever they use, they gain 1,000 fans. Leading the pack, select a female or male superstar to gain 10 popularity whenever superstars who share that gender gain popularity. Ooh, I like that. We're gonna use this one, leading the pack. I think that's gonna be massive. So select a female or male superstar to gain 10 popularity. Whenever superstars who share that gender gain popularity, it increases by 20%. So this is huge, y'all. This is huge. So we're gonna choose, I'm gonna use this on Triton. To give him a boost. He's ticked off right now anyway, but we need that boost for him. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My question to all of you, I want your feedback. What should be the big feuds we grow through now as we head to Survivor Series next episode and as we get ready for WrestleMania the following episode, what should be the big rivalries, the big championship bouts that go ahead for the next two episodes? Come below with some of your ideas and your feedback and let me know what you'd like to see. We'll catch you then.